out there in lane number seven. So it's going to be tight, ladies and gentlemen. Look into the middle of the field. Look for St. Peter's School. So uh, it's uh, St. Peter's School, St. Paul's Collegiate. Goodness me, somebody didn't somebody say that the Saints come marching in? Well, here they come, and it's uh, oh, you've lanes. You've got St. Peter's College as well in lane yeah, three, and yeah. I, think they've actually t I think they've actually gone ahead of Hamilton boys and St. Peter's and everybody. Yep, St. So. Peter's College down there in lane number three. They look to be quite prominent. So uh, three, five, seven, that's where the race is. So it's all the odd numbers. So St. Peter's College number one, Ryan Patton, he's the coxswain there, and he'll be looking across and seeing the challenges coming out two lanes with uh, St Peter's School and then St Paul's yeah, Collegiate St. further out. starting to struggle now. So uh, St Peter's School just finding the pressure a little bit hot. Look down on the inside. Don't write Christchurch Boys High School off. They seem to have broken the tussle with Sacred Heart of Auckland down there on the inside. Out there in lane number seven, St Paul's Collegiate just pushing up all the time and taking Linda's Farn College with them as well. So it's uh, the actions coming from the outside of the course. There's seven, six, five St Peter's School, Linda's Farn College and St Paul's Collegiate out there in lane number seven. They're bringing each other through. They're trying to put pressure. And we can see that Hamilton boys in uh, lane number four starting to improve. And they've gone out in... Uh, They've gone out uh, in search of St. Peter's Col College inside yeah, St. them. St. Peter's first through the so 1500. St. Peter's Saint College first through the 1500. So St. Peter's boys. School and then Hamilton boys. And then, and then out to St. seven, St. Paul's Collegiate. Collegiate. So Peter's and Peter and Paul, it's like the gospel out there. Here we go. So St. Peter's College down there in lane number three. Hamilton boys, thank goodness for something that's uh, not biblical. Then it's uh, lane number four and then out to St. Paul's Collegiate out on the outside. Inside them would be uh, Linda's Farn College. Don't count them out at the moment. St. Peter's School trying to push up. They're uh, lining up for the uh, last 300 metres left to go. But it's St. Peter's College who would have it at the moment. Going out in search of them is Hamilton Boys High School. Then go all the way out to the outside. St. Paul's yeah, Collegiate Peter's number College one. Only on 32 still. Oh, St. Peter's College still on 32. Will we see a similar um, wind like we? We saw from uh, Hamilton boys on there. We go, Hamilton boys lifting it up. So Fokatani did it last time. What can uh, St Peter's School do? Can they put the hammer down and leave them to it? St Peter's St. School Paul's is on 35. St Peter's College as they come in, they've moved up to 35. Hamilton boys going out to chase them. St Paul's Collegiate on the outside. What else is happening? St Peter's School maybe perhaps could challenge um, St Paul's Collegiate on the outside, but I think it might be too late. They're going to have to do a uh, big wind, but it's still uh, St. Peter's College number one. There it would have half a length from Hamilton Boys High School. So it's St. Peter's College number one. They'll be the title holders for 2015. Then it'll be Hamilton Boys High School. Then it'll be all the way out to St. Paul's Collegiate. Then it'll be back to St. Peter's School. Then it'll be out to Lindisfarne College. Then what do we got? Right to the outside. Why? Tacky from uh, Christchurch Boys on the inside and then come into Sacred Heart of Auckland. Well, sorry about that, folks. It was a bit dim. It was a bit dark. We got the St. Peter's and the Pauls uh, mixed up, but finally we got them through. And uh, really, St. Peter's College, they did the job. That was a lot of noise, that's very good. All right, this is the medal presentation now for the boys under 18, Novice Cox 4. This event is sponsored by Main Freight Careers. We have Mike Hartley, former president of Rowing New Zealand, of Rowing New Zealand former treasurer, uh, treasurer of Carapiro Rowing, to present the medals. The winners of the bronze medal for the boys under 18, Novice Cox 4, St Paul's Collegiate. This is In this crew, Ben Clare, Sean Cox, Phoenix Kite Williams, Josh Baum, Charlie Saxton, and they are very proudly and well coached by Kirsty Dunhill, who's one of our commentators here.
The time for St Paul's 6.59.19. So congratulations, St Paul's. <laughs> Winners of the silver medal for the under-18 novice Cox for Hamilton Boys High. <laughs> In this crew we have Tori Van Stralen, Flynn Avery, Jax Price, Joshua Allen, the Cox by Thomas Karaitiana Hay. And they're coached by Jacob Pryor. Their time 754.7. 654.7. That scared you, didn't it? 654.7. Congratulations, Hamilton Boys High. Now, the boys under 18 Novice Cox 4 champions for 2015, St. Peter's College. In this crew, Luca Hayward, Matthew Callahan, Leo Nati Tafo, Richard Bluck, and their Cox by Ryan Patton. They're coached by Siggy Davis and Stacey Lithgow. St. Peter's, of course, in Auckland. Time for St. Peter's, 6.53.59. Now, we'll ask Mike to give them their winner's T-shirts. But he's disappeared. Come back, Mike, come back. Winner's T-shirts. And while that's happening, I'm very proud to introduce Evan McCalman who for many years has been a great historian for New Zealand rowing. Thank you, Evan, for being here to present our trophy. We're proud to present the Gill Trophy for Boys to St. Peter's College. It's a big trophy. Well done, St. Peter's.